this is how to install a graphics card in your computer. So, uh, if you are having trouble playing games and you're getting uh, frames, your frames are dropping down low, and even if setting your settings low has not has not uh, increased your frame rate, this is one of the upgrades you can do, which is a graphics card, which is especially designed for decoding 3D shapes and similar jobs like that. And it will generally increase your, de your gaming performance. So first thing you want to do is unplug everything from your computer, set it down somewhere on a nice wooden surface if you can. So you're going to want to make sure, once you've unplugged your computer, that you uh, leave it a while so that the, uh, there's no electricity in there because there can be stored in some of the components inside. You might want to press the power button a few times so that you can discharge all the power inside. So uh, you can either, you've got these two thumb screws, which are always opposite the motherboard, which are always opposite the motherboard on this, uh, on most cases. So you just want to take these thumb screws out. These are called thumb screws because they have extra large heads, which you can just twiddle out with your thumbs. You don't need a screwdriver. However, they do have a screw thread on the end. If you wish to take them out with a screwdriver, it is generally a lot quicker. So that's the uh, screws out. And then you can now just get your fingers under this cover here, this little bent bit of metal, and you can pull it back. You have a big click, and you can pull your computer's panel off. You'll see inside. There will be a large collection of components. One of the one of which you are going to be to concentrate on for this video is right here. It's the PCI Express X16 slot, and um, that's what we're going to be using to plug our graphics card in. Uh, you're going to want to make sure your power supply has got enough capability to run all of this uh, graphics power. Uh, so we have previous video upgraded to a CX430N power supply by Corsair. Uh, this is so that we've got enough power to run all of the components and so the computer doesn't become unstable and start crashing. So, um, so most cards that you use will um, require, uh, any high-end cards, sorry, that you use will require a PCI Express power connection. Um, but the one in particular that we're using will not. Uh, the one in particular we are using is the EVGA GeForce GT620, which is a 1 gigabyte model. Only has a max TDP of 50, uh, 49 watts, and therefore we are not going to require any um, external PCI power. Uh, so yes, if you have one with a, a higher power uh, usage, you might need to use PCI Express power connector, which is these types of connectors. So that is specifically designed to power your PCI swapped devices. So to begin with installing graphics card, what you're going to need to do is get yourself a nice clean surface, and which is preferably static free, so a wooden table is perfectly acceptable. So if you have a computer uh, like this one that just runs off of onboard video, um, then you're not going to have a graphics card already in there and it'll be quite simple enough to, to uh, put a new one in. There is a slight possibility you could already have a card in there that you're replacing because it's either faulty or you want to upgrade it. I'm just going to show you the process of how you would remove that. So if you already had a graphics card in there which was either faulty or you were just replacing it and upgrading it to something better, you're going to want to come to your PCI bracket, remove any retaining screws, like so. On this particular model you pull that up, push it towards you and it comes out. You can then Inside your case, you'll have the PCI black, this black PCI slot here, which is where your graphics card plugs in. You'll notice at the back, there is a small tab. Can you see that? So you want to pull that tab forward and just simply wiggle and lift the card up, and it comes out. Then you can just move any cables out of the way, and your graphics card is released. You're going to get your graphics card in an anti-static wrapping. And there's going to be a sticker on it that says, Caution, Static Sensitive Devices Inside. So what you're going to want to do before you go in there is discharge yourself of any static electricity you might have. This is picked up when you walk around and things like that, and you really can't help it. So what you'll have to do is you're going to have to discharge it by touching a metal object, such as the computer case or a radiator or something like that, which would be earth. And also you could use an anti-static wristband, although I don't like to use those because they can be a bit restricting. Anyway, so once you've done that, you can take your graphics card out of the packaging and you can just you can get rid of the packaging to one side. You're going to want to hold it by the plastic parts if it has them, uh, so along the side will be fine. Uh, try not to touch the circuit board, you can also use the PCI uh, bracket on the side there. 
So to install it, what you're going to want to do is there's going to be a screw on the side. Okay, so this is what your PCI bracket system uh, could look like. Sometimes you have a plastic clip or screws in each one. In the case of this computer, the Dell Inspiron 531, uh, also the same for the 530 model, which was the Intel model, I do believe. Uh, there's just one screw, which you can take out with any normal Phillips head screwdriver. This slides up, forwards, and then you could take the PCI bracket out. So you're going to want to look to see which one you're going to use. So we're going to use the top black slot. That's what you one you're looking for. It's going to be the longest slot. It's going to be black, and it'll have a little retaining clip on one end. So you know it's the top slot. So you want to come and find take the top slot out of the case. And then you'll get this PCI bracket out, and that will then be replaced by the graphics card itself. If you buy a graphics card that might have any uh, plastic parts on it, you might want to take those off before you put them in. That's uh, certainly advisable, so just, just peel those off because you don't want to be putting those inside your computer. Right, there we are. So that's the graphics card that we're going to be installing. Uh, this rate retails for about £37 uh, UK at the moment. Okay, so we now have our empty slot where the graphics card's going to go. And that black slot is the one we're aiming for. And then you want to make sure that the notch is lined up with the notch on the card. So uh, the notch is lined up with the notch on the motherboard. So what you want to do is just push your connectors back if there are any in the way. And then you're just going to want to drop it down in there, there we go, now you want to push it forwards, and you're going to want to line it up with your bracket, so to do that, you just want to push it forwards until it fits in that little slot there, it's going to snap in at the bottom, then you can just line it up, make sure it's lined up with the slot inside, and then you can just push it straight down. And you'll hear that satisfying click and it's done. Your graphics card is now installed. So to complete the process you're going to want to put this PCI bracket back on making sure that all of them are firmly in place. So you just want to clip it in there, make sure that that's in and push it down onto the cards. And then you can put the screw in and the retaining mechanism is then reinstalled. Your monitor used to go in this slot here, which is the blue VGA, uh, but then you are going to want to put it in one of these DVI slots. You can get converters to turn these DVIs into these VGAs, so if you, so you, if you don't have a DVI capable monitor. So that's how to install the graphics card. The last thing you're going to want to do is get the side panel for the computer. Then once you get the side panel, you just want to push it on, make sure that you line up the tabs with the tabs on the computer case. So you just want to push it down on all sides and push it forwards. That's so that you can get all of the clips to engage on the case underneath. You're then going to want to get your two thumb screws to retain the case and uh, keep the side panel in place. So, As stated earlier, you can either use your thumbs and fingers to screw it in or if you wish, you can use a Phillips, any normal Phillips head screwdriver and just screw it in like so. The graphics card is now installed.